shelf. So today we're going to look at my bookshelf. My one and only bookshelf. And you know, I imagined my room to have more books, but I did not have any more books other than this. For the longest time, it was my dream to have like the books everywhere, like, like a Tumblr girl. You know, like when I was 13, that was my dream, still my dream, to have like a library bedroom, but I just need to buy more books. Or give me books, give me books, give me books right now. Some of these books I have never read. Okay, some books I just bought and literally just did this. So that it will look like I read them, but I never read them. Some people hate that. I still don't hate that. I actually like this. I like to fold. I like to fold this. Yeah, yeah, you hate that, huh? Like that forever. But today we're gonna roast my 13 year old self book choices and highlight choices. And yes, I highlighted my books too. What a little shit my 13 year old self was. And my nebulizer, my favorite book of all. The only book. You get to put in your lungs. I've never actually used my nebulizer, thank god. I, we bought this nebulizer before we went to South Korea. The first book is this. I thought I'd start collecting these, but I just got two. One from Palawan and one from Palawan. <laughs> so I didn't collect this from anywhere. <laughs> It's so dusty. First books, Lord of the Rings. Never opened them except The Hobbit, and it took me so long to finish them. And I'm so upset when I was 13 that I got the books with not a nice cover. Like, who cares? This book, come on, it's the inside. Next books, Harry Potter. These are my mom's old Harry Potter books. So I had those books, but eventually I just got this guy, which is now covered in gloss. These beautiful books i never got the twilight one like the actual twilight one because i just borrowed it from one of my classmates and then i loved it and then i bought the others but didn't buy the original stupid bitch these books i actually really really like i think i bought this in a book sale so a lot of these books i got from book sales fully book from gifts from school this thing i don't know who this is from i think it's from sab thank you sab Oh shit, there's stuff in there. What the hell? What the? Okay, okay. This is you make one pestle. 75 cents. What the hell? Oh shit. Fuck. Oh my god, I'm gonna break this. Mm -mm. I can't put it back. So I'm sorry, your butt plug is staying off. Where's the. Here, this is a bracelet from Nikki. She got for me from what for one of my birthdays. I still wear it. And this is a bracelet from Ars. Next shelf. Oh my Philo book. Dog gut. Didn't understand a single thing in this book. How did I pass Philo one one and one with so many highlights? So many dog ears. Zero comprehension. I still do not understand anything at the end of this two semesters. This book is from Sir Martin. Come on. Focus. And he did the illustration, so thank you, Sir Martin. Here's another book. As you can see, still has plastic, never opened, outstanding move. Okay, I just had a shawarma break. Next book. I don't even own this book. It's Arch's book. Nope. Next book. I remember I really really like this book, but I don't remember anything about it. I remember reading this in SM Mega Mall. Because I used to like I used to like walk from my our condo to SM Mega Mall and just hang out there. One of the important books from my high school. I used to highlight words that I didn't know. Inu u kil Inu u ki kil. What's that word? I don't know. I even wrote down when martial law was declared because I didn't know. I didn't know then that's when it was declared September 21. Another good book but I never opened. I, I think Ars got this for me. I'm not sure. Somebody got this for me. Don't know who got this for me. Probably me. One of my favorite books and also in Filipino. Because in high school I really thought I was going to be a Filipino literature 
student in college for Christmas from one of my friends from high school and I don't think we talk anymore. I hope she's doing well. So thank you for this book and here's mine. I got it in grade school probably. Okay, this one, Battle Royale. This is one of, one of those books that I could not put down. Like, I was just... I don't know what's next. I need to know what's next. I need to know the ending. Another book, not owned by me, owned by ours. Another book I didn't read. I remember Lexa used to read a lot of Pala Nook. Or she read one and I just saw it and I was like, oh, let's read some books. The Kalamaka word. Also, a book I did not understand when I was still wrapped. Catcher in the Rye, one of the pretentious high school books. Oh, it's from Lexa. She just said, oh my god, it's page 69. Okay, this is a good one. Among other things, you'll find that you're not the first person, first person who was ever confused and frightened and even sickened by human behavior. Oh, another one from Lexa. Past Lexa said YOLO swag. Mm, those are so nice. It's like little surprise. We used to love these like sticky notes that were cute. And, and then I had some that I never used. So they were basically wasted. Sometimes I act a lot older than I am. I really do. But people never notice it. People never notice. And Wind Up Bird Chronicle. This was my first Murakami book. This book, I just found it at a book sale. As you can see, there's this thing I could never remove because it would just damage the book. And also, actual damage on the book. Actual damage on the book. Also, did not understand. Okay, there's a pattern here that we're noticing. I did not understand a lot of these books. What a stupid day it had been. A stupid day of a stupid month of a stupid year. Yup. My favorite Murakami book is something else, and I always brought it with me, even though I never reread it fully. So basically, now I can't read anything. Like, now I cannot, for the life of me, sit down, read an actual book, focus on something for so long. There's no way I could do that. I cannot even focus on a single Netflix show. I have to pause it. And then I'm gonna go watch something on YouTube and then I'm gonna go and read it. And that's just how my brain has deteriorated. Deteriorated, but I used to be able to like just sit for hours reading books. And now I just can't. And so that thing in the intro where I was reading a book was fake. I was staring at the middle of the book. I wasn't even reading any words. You know, I didn't have a lot of pictures. In high school. Actually, I, that's black. I have a lot of pictures from high school, but not a lot of good ones. So this is like a nice way to remember high school. It's most of these books I bought in between like grade five to fourth year high school. Fourth year high school when I stopped reading, and then college I just brain dead. So Vea was asking me, are audiobooks considered reading? And I think no because you're listening. That's a whole different sense. But I don't know. Put it in the comments if anybody's watching. Is reading an audiobook reading or is it just listening? I read it in fourth year college. Changed my life. Made me think. Made me think about stuff. I don't know. There is an essential poverty in the face. The proof of this is that one tries to mask this poverty by putting on poses, by taking on a countenance. Oh, my favorite quote. The glory of the infinite reveals itself through what it is capable of doing in the living. So there's this quote I used to use in my oral sometimes, which is, um, To love another person is to see the face of God, which is such a great quote. And also, there's this quote from House Bunny, which is like, What? Why are you talking about House Bunny? Anna Fire said, um, kindness is love with its work in this That's so nice. Hey guys, so this video was getting pretty long, so I decided to split it into two videos. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And see you next week for part two of my bookshelf, which includes CDs, books I actually read and understood, and some planners that I wrote in and drew in. See you. Thanks for watching.